So the police have been caught on camera slashing tires during protests. Now, to give you the context for this, this has been, I mean, tires being slashed have been reported by journalists, by uh, here, by medics, um, news crews, protesters, where they go back to their cars and their tires are slashed. And, you know, the assumption from, let's say, the conservative mindset, the Trump mindset would be, oh, it's Antifa, or as he calls it, Antifa. Antifa is doing all the slashing of the tires. Well, it turns out, no, it's actually been the police. So check out this video that was put together by Mother Jones. I just got back to my vehicle, um, parked in a lot, and the police slashed one, two, three, four of my tires. And they've also slashed every other car that's parked in this lot's tires. Every car that's parked here has their tires slashed. Every single car. Unbelievable. I can't get home now. Car. What the fuck? They literally just slashed somebody. My live stream tuned out. Oh, there it goes. They're slicing those guys' they, tires. They literally just sliced somebody. So it's pretty clear. Uh, I mean, it's clear as it's in the video. It's the cops that have been doing this. Now, I just wanted to share this in addition to this other uh, news item that I saw pop up that gives me some hope here, as it appears a lot of people are really beginning to finally understand what Black Lives Matter has been talking about. So New York Times um, analysis on this. In the last two weeks, American voters support for Black Lives Matter movement increased almost as much as it had in the preceding two years. And this is the kind of thing in terms of public opinion that does not move this quickly and this much. So you see here back in uh, 2018, a majority did not support. So support was was below here. And then somewhere near the end of 2018 or beginning into, into uh, 2019, support began to increase. And then you are seeing here right near uh, where we are right now, uh, end of May and June, boom, massive support here uh, for Black Lives Matter. And I think it's because of, I mean, obviously the George Floyd video, I think is a, is a massive piece of it, but also because of all the other videos that have come out showing how the cops are treating protesters. I mean, really... Think about it. All the cops had to do was nothing. All they literally had to do was just stand there and, and protect the protesters the same way they protect when the KKK uh, has their rallies. All they had to do was just stand there, not shoot tear gas, not shoot rubber bullets, not shoot these, these pepper bullets, not attack, punch protesters that are, that are unarmed, that aren't doing anything. All they had to do, all the cops had to do were just stand and do nothing. And you wouldn't, I don't think you would see the shift like this. But you, you've seen the shift because not only... Have they seen the George Floyd video? They've also seen every other video that has come after it, showing that, yeah, the cops are violent. <laughs> Who knew? So this entire time, when Black Lives Matter was treated as some fringe group that, you know, oh, they're just pissed off for whatever reason. No, you now understand what Black Lives Matter has been saying the entire time, what the black community in general has been saying the entire time. That finally, now that it's happening to you out in the open, now that white people are, are actually experiencing some of it, oh, finally, now you catch on. So, yeah, look, I don't want to get too cynical here <laughs> as um, this is good news, but it really should not have taken people this long. But with that said, at least now, finally, people have uh, begun to wake up.